Uh, another interesting tool uh, is uh, py flag. So py flag is unique. Well, it will not really unique. It's, it's, it's interesting because it offers correlation with log source and file system memory forensics. So it's used for both host-based forensics, file system forensics, memory forensics, and also network forensics. And uh, it provides a high-level analysis information. Uh, it has a protocol scanner to scan against PCAT file to reconstruct streams for different network protocols. And one feature that is interesting for a network analyst is the capability to index PCAP, PCAP data. So indexing means that, OK, you have, I mean, if you're looking at files, PCAP files the size of 10 meg, 100 meg, it's, you can do it manually. You can use uh, TC, uh, TCP speed dump filter to filter out the uh, packets of interest. But if you're looking about gigabits of gigabit of gigabyte of data, uh, you're looking at huge packet uh, packet data. So filtering them for the specific IP address, source or destination IP address or port, for example, will be very will it will, will, will take forever. So the, the, however, with indexing capability, you can search for a particular packet of interest very quickly. Uh, how they do it, you got to read the academic paper on that. It's quite, uh, uh, quite technical. Interesting, actually. Right. Uh, here's an example of a, of a PY flag screenshot. Okay, this is uh, this is uh, the the it's it's a tree a tree view, so you can see on the left is the source destination, and then further down, if you click, you can see the uh, stream uh, and the decoded protocol is pop, and you can see all the information, right? This is a uh, Amazon chat session extracted by uh, PY flag. Uh, hi there, buddy. What's up, man? I'm getting a new plan ready. You know, let's take over the world. Let's, you know, do whatever that we want to do. Okay, so that's uh, PY flag. Uh, TCP attracts is a tool for extracting files from network traffic based on file signatures. So in, uh, in forensics, there's this, there's this term that they, they use, which is called data carving. Data carving. So when the forensic analyst, for host-based forensic analyst, tries to discover, recover deleted files on the file system, so they use a technique called data carving. Basically, what it means is like it's treating files based on the contents of the file, such as the headers, OK? And the uh, or uh, and or all the footers. So if you do a hex dump on PDF file, for example, you will see percent PDF dash 1.4 or dash 1.5 the version of the PDF document and stuff like that. So this file carving basically make use of that particular headers and try to extract the files. Okay, so. You can write file signatures. Um, I don't have an example of file signatures here. But uh, if you go to uh, filext.com, right, uh, this website uh, has uh, a lot of uh, information about, uh, about files. Oh, I have it. OK. So here's how you write uh, TCP extract signature. Um, the slides will be online. So don't have to, but basically, uh, i just explain a bit. Uh, the first two lines, you can see I'm doing a hex dump on a secret.pdf. And you can see the, the second one is super secret.pdf. So you see PDF, the common uh, headers will be PDF dash percent PDF dash 1.4.5. And another one is percent PDF dot 1.4.9. So if you want to detect 
all kinds of uh, files, so you need to look for this signature, right? <clears throat> so TCP flow, uh, you, the goal is to construct different TCP flow streams in separate files for analysis, right? So if you have uh, different, uh, you know, if I mean, most TCP, most traffic will will consist of different sessions, uh, HTTP, uh, MSN, BitTorrent, blah 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 chat so tcp flow basically to construct different tcp flow and there will they, it will be done in a separate files for analysis <coughs> uh, another tool that we'd like to use is uh, chaos reader uh, it can reconstruct uh, network sessions like ftp rsc uh, and replay the session so you have a nice screen with okay, the attacker or the user to internet to the server and then what he keys in, okay, uh, as nice uh, HTML report. So that's uh, Chaos Reader. I'm sure you all use Wireshark and heard of Wireshark. Even if you don't use it, you probably heard of it. Uh, Wireshark has powerful filtering capabilities. Uh, it's very flexible for analyzing session data and application protocols. Um, it can use, it can perform things like uh, follow TCP stream. So you can see the, uh, the, 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 the connection, the, you know, what is the communication between two endpoints. And the new version uh, of Wireshark supports UDP stream. So the difference between TCP and UDP is that TCP is, uh, is, uh, is a session-based protocol, okay? So because it's a session-based pro based protocol, it's easier for you to follow the conversation, whereas UDP is stateless. Um, the technique that Wireshark use is not, look, it's not uh, to reconstruct the session, it's not by looking at the UDP headers, but rather going up into the the uh, network stack by looking at the application. So if I want to reconstruct a UDP session for DNS, I will look at the DNS protocol. So that's how they do it. <clears throat> so I think a few of you attended our training and we use uh, Network Miner. Uh, this is for Windows. Uh, Windows, again, it can reconstruct the session and it can um, recover files. Do you have a screenshot? Yeah, we have a screenshot. Okay, so this is a screenshot of Network Miner in action. Okay, you can filter, you can search uh, for, uh, you can search on the, uh, at the application layer, for example, the payload of TCP and V packets. You can search the entire uh, packet data. You can do, uh, you can search for a protocol that is not passed by network miner, and so on. Okay. So in the GUI, you see a few tabs, you, the list of hosts, the network frames, files that was uh, extracted, images that was extracted, Credentials, usernames, or password if it's in clear text, uh, DNS queries, and so on. <coughs> Formos is another tool uh, for uh, extracting the uh, file. Formos works. Formos works for uh, host-based forensics as well as network packet. Okay. So this is an example of uh, extracting files from uh, Formos. 